What's up, guys? Charlie NASCAR here. I am all kinds of just some kind of pissed. I'm not even sure what to think. Seems like every week someone is committing a penalty. And it ain't the drivers. Let's not even blame the drivers in any of this. It is these crew chiefs. These guys, I mean, I understand they're trying to get the most they can. But, I mean, you know, I was okay with it being once... One per one or two drivers a week. But this shit where they had eleven drivers that couldn't make it through pre inspection, laser inspection. I can understand the post, you know, someone tried to get away with something. I mean, I don't think it's right to do, but I can understand it happening, you know, people going trying to push the limits. But this shit, you had eleven cars that couldn't get qualify because they couldn't get past the laser inspection. <clears throat> that is just ridiculous. Just effing ridiculous. These crew chiefs, I mean, like, last week, freaking, there needed to be another spacer on Dale Jr.'s uh, rear tire, I believe it was. I mean, you know, speeding penalties, crew penalties. These crew chiefs are fucking up. Left and right. You know, and it's all these different ones. I mean, it's not like, you know, a set group of guys. No, I mean, this is like all over the spectrum. You know, this is all Ford manufacturers, Toyota and Chevrolet, all three of them. You know, but fuck Toyota anyway. You all know how I feel about that. But this is just ridiculous. I mean, these guys, I mean, we're, we're now set eight or nine races in. They should have this shit together. I mean, I understand. Look, I understand the first two or three weeks. Or when you go to your first mile and a half track, or your first this track, there are being issues, or you're having problems with, with I understand that. That's why I don't really comment on, on it or bitch about it. But 11 cars, 11 of you guys, a bunch of different drivers and manufacturers and teams, that's bad. That, I mean, I just don't get it, man, why you guys ain't fucking ready for the race. I just don't get it. You know, and you know what? I applaud NASCAR for once. I'm glad that they've been stiff for penalties. Hey, you guys all know that I that at the end of the season, I'm going to choose between Logano and Kozlowski. There's a points battle for them. I believe I got to look it up. I believe Kozlowski has a couple points ahead of Logano right now in, in the competition. But I was happy that they encumbered his finish and everything. That, that was the right penalty. If you fail inspection, your win should be taken away. You should not get a chance for all that stuff. Same with this thing. If you can't, if you're not ready passing the, um, the pre-race inspection, you shouldn't get a chance to qualify. But I think what they should do is, is if you can't do it by the third try, you can't race. See how quick quick these uh, crew chiefs get their shit together. Let that happen. Let them hit, really hit the pocketbook. When the team owner finds that you can't get a car ready, you're out. I mean, look what happened to um, Slugger Labby, I believe his name was. Austin Dillon's crew chief. He couldn't get the shit, shit together. They benched him themselves. Richard Childers said, no, buddy. You're going to sit back a couple of races so you can get your shit together. But, man, I'm just, I'm just so sick of it. I mean, am I wrong here, guys? I blame the crew chiefs. I don't blame NASCAR. I think NASCAR's handling this right. You know, which is a change for me. Usually, I'm always the first one to blast NASCAR and go off on Steve... O'Donnell and Brian France. I'm usually the first one, but I think they actually got this one right, man. But there need to be stiffer penalties. If you can't get it by the third try, you're out. I think that's what we need to do. Because it's just getting ridiculous. Every week, after a race, you find out someone is in the top five. You know, last week it was Amarillo. Fourth place finish became encumbered. You know, shit's ridiculous. We need it. They need to get the shit straight. You know, I mean, these crew chiefs got to understand it's their job. To run the crew, they're responsible for a lot of things, and they ain't fucking doing it. And Greg Ives, on a side note, you need to fucking come out of retirement. And what I mean by coming out of retirement is you seem like you went to retirement way before Junior is going to, and you need to understand you're running a team. <coughs> but anyway, guys, that's all I got to say from this. It's late. Do my my pre-race video in a couple hours when I wake up. And as, as always, fuck Toyota.